Welcome back. Uh, the guy just left, and I'm gonna talk about what happened. Or what I was going to talk about. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, one day I was getting off the bus, and usually it's like me, uh, this other chick, and well, you, me and a couple, like a bunch of people. Um, but like me and this one girl, we go one way, and this other girl goes another way, and like. So there was this, there was this black guy, a really elderly black guy. I'm just being descriptive. I'm not just saying that. Like, he was black, uh, elderly black guy on a bike, and he was like teetering and tottering on the bike. And he was looking around and stuff, and you know, he seemed fine. And then like, and then he stopped by the willow tree, was looking at this the one chick who was going the other way. I don't know why I'm saying chick, but this one girl that was going the other way, and and then he he waves up. He like he waves his hand and goes nah. Like, what? Like, what, you're not going to rape her? Like, what the fuck does that shit mean? And then, like, he's like, nah. And then, like, you know, he waves to the girl in front of me, and I got my my aviator shades on. I'm, I'm being all swag and all. And then, you know, we walk past him, and then the girl that waved to the guy, she kind of, like, she, she turns around and starts walking next to me, and she's like, there's something off about that guy, and I'm like, oh, yeah, he's really creepy. And she's like, yeah, he was staring at that one girl going the other way. And like, we, were, we were both creeped out. And then what was really creepy is that he's looking at us as we're walking, like, behind him. And then apparently he starts following us down the neighborhood, and I'm freaking out. Like, what the fuck's going on? And, like, you know, she turns off to go to her house, and I'm walking alone, and this guy's still following me from, like, 20 feet behind, and I'm like, oh my god, and then, like, so I, I turn to, like, I have to go across, like, a couple of, like, yards to get to my house, uh, backyards, and, like, I don't live in a neighborhood, like, we live in, like, a townhome kind of complex thing, so, like, no one really owns any of the land around here, just the house, so, like, I'm walking through the yards and shit, and I turn around, and he's there in the driveway I just, like, got past, and, like, I'm walking through, and he's just sitting there on the sidewalk looking at me, and I'm like, oh, fuck this shit. So I turn around, and I start speed walking the fuck back to my house. I, I was just so creeped out. I'm looking out the window, like, when I get, when I get home, or when I got home, I started looking at, like, all my windows, like, did he fucking follow me? And what, was, what I was really worried about was that my sister also walks home, and I'm worried that he's gonna follow her here. And then like some shit's gonna go down. So yeah, that, that was my terrifying experience. And then what was funny today? It was kind of funny. Was that the chick I was walking with? Chick. Okay, I guess I'm saying chick. Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. But like the girl I was walking with, she calls up both of her brothers to like be at the bus stop when she gets there because she's so freaked out. Um. And so like I'm like oh god, because you know. She's like, oh, there's this really creepy guy on a bike and stuff and everything. And she's telling the brothers about it. And she's like, you know, right? Wasn't that guy really creepy? And I'm like, oh, yeah. You know, it, it freaked me out. And apparently it freaked her out so much, she, she had to get her brother. Uh, there's, you can't do anything here. Um, it freaked her out so much that like she had to get both her brothers here. And they were like, they were like in their 20s or something. They were older. Uh, I'm like almost 17, so... Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that, and, you know, that guy on the bike wasn't there today, um, so, that was a side of relief, and it, it just, it was, really was really creepy, and it scared me a bit, because this guy's wandering around the neighborhood on a bike that he doesn't know how to ride, and then, following children from the bus home, you know, he seemed friendly at first, but then he started following us, and that's when it got creepy. Uh, really creepy, actually. Let's get this globo. Yeah, that's that. That's, um... That was my creepy story. Yeah, this neighborhood has its fair share of, uh, strange people. See, I live with, like, my neighborhood is... It's got a bunch of, like, old people in it. And... Uh... You know, a lot of old people, sometimes their head's not screwed on right. So... They're a bit loose. And, uh... Things get very strange sometimes. You know, because some of those old people have, like, their own way of doing things. They're, like, you know, like they're just too old. They forget things, like, how to fucking act in public and shit, you know? All that. 
But, you know, most of them are generally nice. They're not, like, you know, creepy or, like, <laughs> like, just, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. Like, okay, I just did that kind of, like, because at school I do that. I go, like, <laughs> apparently that makes everyone laugh. It's my uh, old lady, like, when you're, when you're, like, talking to, shoot, you're talking to an old lady and she doesn't hear you, she's just like, <laughs> Uh, that's just how that goes. Alright. Got some generators. Don't even need this. Actually, dude, it's pretty fucking dark. It's pretty deep. <coughs> ah! This is when the game starts to get a little bit more clever about its aspects. You know, this is pretty cool, like, you know, having the light your way and stuff and all that. You know, the first world's kind of meh, and then this world, you know, like, the setting of it I don't like, but, like, the stuff in it is pretty cool. So it's just sitting here. Why is it in the air? Couldn't have it on the ground. I had that shit in the air. Pissing me off. That's what it's doing. It is what it's doing. Sorry. Uh, I got a space out. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I, I can't. Um. Yeah. So we're exploring more of Glitter Gulch Mine. Uh, oh fuck! Hey, that's an enemy in this fucking world. TNT boxes that shoot TNT at you. Like, what the fuck is that shit all about? Maybe off camera I'll go back and get some stuff like different or like more honeycombs and Jinjos and shit, you know, just just for whatever. Uh, if I feel like it. Usually I don't feel like going back and all that. I've done it before though. Oh yeah, Super Mario Bros. 3. I, I went back like I accidentally had to start all over and it started all over and I had to go all the way to like World 7 which I actually, I actually breezed through everything because I knew the levels. Uh, Oh shit. And um I'm trying to think. And like I ended up having like eighteen lives by the time I got back to where I was. And uh Yeah, it was pretty good though. But I had to replay the whole fucking game. And then that was the day I beat the game. Uh it was like so long ago when I played that. It's been like a year. Actually, it's only been a year since I started playing it, actually. And a year later, I got freaking Banjo-Tooie going. A year ago, I had Banjo-Kazooie. And I also had Donkey Kong Country. Those, those were the only two things I had for a while. And then, then there was Super Mario Bros. 3. And eventually, Castlevania came in. I don't know why I'm telling you this shit. I'm just... Whatever. Recently, I've like you know, as you can tell, I've gotten into more like newer games. I've been playing a lot of older games. Uh, Silent Hill's not really that new. Um, newer to me because I haven't, I didn't, I never really played it. Uh, but like Hotline Miami, and eventually I'm gonna get some more newer games. Uh, if my good pal Nazo, or one and only Nazo, I've you know, with, I played you know Sonic 06 with him and Tomb Raider. Um, he, he's gonna let, if I get, I'm gonna get GTA 5 eventually next month, and, uh, for my birthday, and he's gonna let me borrow his Elgato HD Capture, and I'm gonna record that shit, so we're gonna have some Grand Theft Auto motherfucking 5 up on this channel, and there's a lot of dirty shit in there, so there's gonna be a lot of censoring, ah, <laughs> fuck that, this is the internet, who cares, <laughs> actually YouTube would actually delete my videos, 
that's not good. Next time on the Vigil Point.